hello to you, hello to you. I am ASMR Weetle and today I will be doing a video that until recently wasn't planned because there have been some events happening in my life so this is sort of an unscheduled video and it's a live update and sort of a ramble type of video. Uh, now before anyone misunderstands I am still going to be filming, I am still going to be publishing videos uh, this, these recent events does not affect my channel's shooter or the filming process in any way because I love doing this and that won't change and I, have, I am planning three mic videos for this week you know video with a microphone so maybe there will come some videos with a mic which to some could mean improved quality maybe mm, because I know what many considers mic videos, better videos so uh, that's the sort of the plan for this week and this is may this may very well be an interesting week for the channel because it could be what this could potentially be the week the channel crosses 1k subscribers most likely it will either be this week or next week so uh so yeah so i am so i'm still going to be publishing videos and do the normal stuff but I just want to talk with you about some things which have occurred recently because I just needed to sort of talk and at the end we'll sort of be giving light to, uh, to, to, to all of us to sort of help uh, ward off events and things in our lives which aren't positive. This is not really the typical ASMR video. This I have planned for seven videos this week but because of this video it will be eight videos instead. But this wasn't planned until very recently. Um, so the first thing I can begin with is I can tell you what I am actually a guy with. Um, my uh, some of my subscribers already know this, but for those of you who don't, I have mild autism. Mild autism, and what it's very mild. I I have. I have this, I guess you could call it a disability or syndrome, to a very mild extent, you know, I can communicate with other people, I can be social, but I do have some extent of social anxiety, but I am very social with the people I know and love, but uh, yeah, uh, because of this disability, I live with my father, you know, and but I am actually sort of planning to sort of begin the process of moving out next year mm. in 2024 but i'm not ready for it uh, this year mm. so yeah uh, now my family is very supportive of me my sister has helped me with the filming process and stuff like that and my father is a very kind individual mm. very kind individual just so that's completely clear mm. Uh, my family has always been very kind and my mother was also a very kind individual uh, when she lived at she passed uh, five years ago from cancer unfortunately that was not a great time but but stuff like that happens and I really wish I could say I was the only young person that sort of stuff happened to but but I'm not you know because because it it really happens to a lot of people so this weekend, uh, this weekend has been nice, sort of. I actually got to film two videos this weekend, which I plan to publish later this week. Uh, I took some time off of my weekend to film these two videos, uh, sort of a more relaxed weekend type of videos, and I look forward to publishing this. But and for the most part, the weekend's been great, but there's a but in there. So. Uh, if, uh, but I know this can look a little childish, but I like stuffed animals, and this is the this is the giant shark, the giant shark stuffed animal. I really like the shark animal. I mean, I found them terrifying in a way, but I sort of like them too. So if it's okay, just for just for support, emotional support, as I talk about this, it's I hope it's okay for some of you, but I just hug with this 
stuff with animal. I know it makes me look very childish, but you know I'm a guy with a disability, so I'm allowed to look a little childish if you wish. Um, so yeah, uh, this weekend, uh, uh, there's something, you see, um, I, I'm not sure where to begin, I'm sorry for all the uh, hair, but I'm not sure where to begin, so I, um, um, uh, my, f my father, uh, I'm going to sort of go to whisper here, uh, my father um, likes to train and he rides a bike you know often like he, he likes to take these long tours long on the bike but when you ride a bike my father's in his mid to late 60s but when you ride a bike uh, there's always the risk that you can uh, hurt yourself yeah there's always the risk that you can hurt yourself yeah. and last year my father actually hurt himself this was not his own fault entirely, actually, but, uh, but he hurt himself last year. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, maybe we can just bring some cozy elements to the video. Almost. I think this, this is so adorable, but so cute. Oh. Okay, I think I'm just going to put aside the shock for a while. Um, um, so, last year, uh, but, um, so, my sister, so he called my sister because he couldn't walk home or anything, but oh, so he came home and for a while me and my sister had to sort of help him a little with just the first few days, but thankfully after a few days and weeks he recovered and he was fully well again and he could ride a bike. But this year, this weekend, he, he hurt himself again. Like, because there's a risk when you like to ride a bike, there's always a risk, you know. And, and before you think I'm upset with anyone, no, I'm not upset. It's just how life is, you know, in life we can hurt ourselves sometimes. So, uh, so this weekend he sort of hurt himself again. And, uh, but this time he wasn't as hurt as previous year. This time he, this time he managed to walk, he managed to... He managed to do things. He's not as hurt as he was previously, yes, and I'm sure he will recover fully once again. Like, and this time he, he, this time he actually can take care of himself. He can do things. He can, he can drive a car. He can go around. He can, he can do stuff. So it's not as bad as last year. But this really reminds me what uh, uh, these events sort of remind me what. I really start to feel the need to move out because my father is such a kind and good individual, you know. He helps me a lot in my life. But uh, I, I really feel strongly. I am a guy who is 29 years old, of course, and I start to feel very strongly for a place of my own. Like, um, a place I can just be for myself so but when something like this happens like if my father for example hurts himself next year once again uh, then uh, or, or the year afterwards then at least I can live somewhere else so I can have some more distance from it because that's um, that's that's what I I just need some just so I can get some distance from it because uh, before anyone misunderstands both me and my sister, of course we'll help our father when he needs it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not about that. Uh, I'll, talk, I'll talk after this recent incident, he actually didn't need much help because he, he, wasn't, he wasn't as hurt this time. And of course, and uh, of course I... Uh, and of course I, yeah. And of course my father is also wonderful, stubborn old people who sort of refuse to take it easy when hurt, you know, like some people just chose to fully rest and recover, but my my dad is sort of one of the stubborn old people, but if he can do things, he, he will, and I understand that, because it's boring to just sit and recover all day, I understand. But anyway, I think what I'm trying to say is I really need, mm, I really start to feel like I'm at this crossroads in my life where I really need to find a place of my own in the future. Uh, now, my father has said that 
but he he really you know there are two kinds of parents often there are the parents that show their children out the door and want them to just be out as quickly as possible and then there are the parents that would rather their child's uh, sons and daughters just live with them their whole life my father's sort of in my last category but he has said he fully understands what I eventually want to move out so he understands and uh, of course uh, I, in this incident the, I, I just feel like it's, like if this happens a third year in a row you know like it happens next year too uh, because yeah then <laughs> Then, then maybe I just need to find a place for my own so that I can sort of get some distance from this like I because it causes me some anxiety because you know I lost my mother a few years back and it causes me some slight anxiety about what if my father for example uh, gets himself killed in an in an accident when he rides a bike and shit. I don't think that will happen. I think he will always just... I don't think that, but it's just... It just causes that irrational anxiety. Before anyone misunderstands, my father is a very kind guy and he's, he's actually normally trying to be cautious and he has said to me now that he's going to be more cautious when he rides a bike. I hope that's true. But it's sort of, sort of, it's sort of... How I put this? It sort of makes it, I am a guy that likes having freedom and stability around me and, and that's also why this incident sort of is a wake up call to me that I need to sort of get my own place after a while. You know, I have some challenges with some practical stuff but I could probably always find some help for that in some way or another. Like there are a lot of things I can do myself too, for example. You know, I can, I can dry away dust. I can, um, I can, <laughs> I can do. Uh, uh, I can, of course, I can, I can dry clothes, and I there's there's a lot of practical stuff I can do too. There is very some practical stuff I struggled, but I could always get some help and support for that. You know, from my family. So, but I believe that I can sort of. Uh, so it's just a wake-up call uh, that in the future I will probably have to get a place of my own. Not for anyone who wants uh, My father is going to be completely fine again. I'm sure of it in a few weeks. I mean, he's already doing relatively well. So, so there's no problems there. And, and yeah, but I just need to sort of get away from these kind of events because uh, I just... I just, I just need to get some distance from it, and that's why it's it's sort of a wake up call. But it's just this year has we, last year and this year has just been a wake up call. But I really just need to get my own place and just, yeah, you know, I, bef uh, it's so important to me. But you all understand what both me and my sister and my father needs help. We will help him. You know, we are we are not the kind of people that just abandons our parents. But, but if I had my own place, I could get some more distance from it when these events happen, so I can sort of get, yeah, now, now I sort of feel like, yeah, like it gets a little too much at times, because, because, uh, yeah, uh, I really, I, it's important that my father gets to ride a bike again, because that's, and that he continues his training, because that's his hobby, his life. But, 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 <laughs> but it just needs, I just need to sort of, uh, and I want him to, I just hope he's a little more cautious in the shit, and not super cautious, but just a little more cautious, and, and, and I, and it sort of, sort of just uh, helps me realize that I just need, <laughs> I just need to sort of, change my life and just get my own place and sort of so that I can just have a distance from it and I will the most difficult process is what I will have to sort of maybe next year explain this to my father and he will understand I know but but you know it's just uh, it's just 
uh, it's just sort of difficult for me because in a way I really, I really like living here I live too you know in my childhood home home I feel safe here but but I also feel like I can't continue living like this with this kind of uh, uh, I can't I'm not sure and certain this is the right word because what is the right word because it's very safe and stable but I, I just don't want to experience this a third year in a row. Yeah. You know, like if and if I do I, I rather live somewhere else so I can have some more distance to it. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. so that's what um, I'm sure all of you have had similar incidents in your lives with people you love. And uh, yeah. And you know you can't avoid what I know but but it's just, it just, I just had to speak my feelings, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, but thankfully my father is doing well and in a few weeks, a few days and weeks, he'll be fully recovered again. He is already walking around doing stuff, so I'm certain he'll be very fine again, very soon, yeah, uh, so yeah, oh, just need some emotional support, you know. You know, when I love his cute stuff with animals. Uh, I know it looks like it wants to eat the camera, but, you know. Yeah, so just, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I thought we'd end this by just, yeah, we all have events in our lives which are just difficult, causing anxiety, stress, or thing like that. Uh, just to be clear, these events which recently happened does not impact my filming process. And I'm going to underline, uh, just to remind everyone that my dad's a super kind individual. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so what was no misunderstanding. Yeah, he he is just trusting me a lot. This is just the stuff that can happen in life. I'm, you know, it's just, you know, we all can hurt ourselves at times. So there's no one to blame here or anything. It's just stuff that can happen. Uh, uh, so I thought we'd sort of light away events which are, aren't good. You can sort of, and we are going to imagine those events as two things. You can sort of imagine that we sort of move in time, but let's imagine time as a train, and sometimes we are through these vortexes of energy which aren't good. And we can sort of give light to those vortexes, so we can pass more quickly through those vortexes. And then we can also imagine... Uh, Imagine us, us imagine a, a snake if you wish, which aren't good. Uh, but uh, just to be clear, I think that snakes sometimes snakes can mean positive things too. I think it can mean wisdom at times too. But this particular snake is not a good snake. No, no. we are going to imagine that snake, and we are going to we are not going to hurt or harm the snake in any way. But we are going to put some light to scare the snake away because this snake is the events and situations in our lives which aren't positive. So we are going to imagine first, we are going to imagine the snake and we are going to sort of give light to, to sort of scare away the snake so it can't hurt us anymore. You just close your eyes and imagine the snake and we together are going to just imagine this light sort of become powerful and flowing all around us. A flowing wall of light, scaring away the snake and helping, uh, and helping, uh, and helping sort of scaring away the snake on the road so that it cannot hurt us anymore. We can, the snake cannot hurt us anymore. Where? And now you can see what the snake is withdrawing as light goes on into the clearing and the woods, the forest and everything. And our houses, our homes, our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our soul. The snake cannot hurt us any longer. Our soul is cleansed and the snake must draw back. It cannot attack anymore. It draw, retreats. Okay, and now we shall imagine that the same will happen to this vortex I mentioned, we're going to light a light so that the vortex is cleared away, so that as the train of life we are on passes through this vortex, this vortex is filled with light. 
and you are going to march together because when the light becomes so much stronger. Where? Okay. And what, by what the vortex? The vortex is done. The vortex and the snake is gone, and we have warded it off from our lives. So I hope, I hope, I hope you just could appreciate me just giving a short life update. I hope no one takes this update too seriously in a way. It's just I want to talk about how I feel right now and I mostly feel good uh, actually. Today I had a walk in the in the sunny air. The sunny air. Yeah, the sunny air uh, in the forest. It was uh, so much green and idyllic stuff there. I, I loved that nature walk. It was great. It was really great. Uh, and I was in nature and I enjoyed myself to sit into the calm and as I was in that green nice clearing I just thought to myself wow we humans are really mad for choosing all of the anxiety and stress in our life over the calm and quiet of these beautiful days in nature and yet we choose all the materialistic and stressful things and then I thought wow we are really human it is really insane uh, yeah because a quiet that feeling is so much better, in a way. But anyway, uh, uh, but uh, I uh, and as I walked back from the woods, I was a little startled because there was a military plane which suddenly comes swooping out, flying low because there's a military exercise in the area around these times. So I was startled, but I went back to the place and found peace again. Yeah. So yeah, that's but and well, that was it. Yeah. So but but other than that, the the work was beautiful and mostly I'm fine. Mostly my life's good. Yeah, and uh, I am ready to film and and make new content for all you guys to enjoy. So so I just wanted, but I just wanted to sort of talk about how I feel right now. Yeah, yeah. It's just what's important. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed divine.